very thankful for the O'Shaughnessy grant as they're some of the first people to believe in me and to do this. In a field that for other people looks very, very high risk, we're able to not worry about that and take a venture bet on the science. What really drew me to the fellowship was, you know, the idea that OSV has for technology and for the future. You know, the technology is really there to serve everyone and benefit humanity as a whole. The fellowship's mentors and community and funding really helped me launch MAVE. I'm now in the core research and development processes to bring this technology to life. I travel and meet and stay with different communities all over the world. So in the past year, I've been to Spain, Poland, Italy, Mexico, Morocco, Turkey, two months in India, and now a month in Uzbekistan. The best part about fellowships is, on my opinion, is community. It's a lot of really smart people that give you the perspective that you haven't seen before. So I'm essentially trying to work on a more flexible battery management system. Ultimately, this is trying to tackle the problem of how we get more renewable energy systems into additional products. In my project, I'm working on quantum technologies. And in particular, I'm working on helping quantum technologies develop quicker and more accessibly to benefit more people. And I'm actually working on two projects under the OSV Fellowship. So the first is a platform for building community-oriented language models. The second project that I'm working on is a video-grounded language model research project. I'm building MAVE software to measure vital signs and biomarkers right from a mobile device video camera. I'm writing a book on the great gender divergence, which is on how the entire world has become more gender equal and why some societies are more gender equal than others. Part of the Brain to Image project powers the visuals on the wall right now. This fellowship is an opportunity of a lifetime, and in your application, you should share all of the life experiences that led you to OSV and how OSV will help you write the next chapter in your story. Provide more context on the world that you want to build, but that no one's working on. You can't figure out why. Um, and usually it's because there's some kind of structural impediment or block. And if you really build in what you believe in and the change you want to make in the world, that's going to show through in the application.